Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new series. So uh, yeah, a little backstory on this. I used to love the adventure games. So there's Venture Africa, Venture Arctic. I used to love them both. And uh, I just realized that Steam has them. So I bought the games. We're gonna be playing Venture Africa. If you wanna see Venture Arctic, we can play that as well. I just really am excited about this because huge amount of nostalgia for me. And uh, also these are really cool games. They're actually fairly advanced despite being older games. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna start with story mode because that's how we can unlock more stuff. And eventually maybe we'll derp around in sandbox mode. But for now, we're just gonna be playing through the game and uh, seeing what we can unlock. There's actually quite a lot to this game too. Like you can see there's a bunch of these different scenarios here. There, there's quite a few. So I think I'm gonna be playing on silver difficulty. It looks like medium difficulty. And uh, I'm, I'm not a pro at the game, but I, I do remember it being a kind of hard game, so I'm not, I'm not quite ready to take on gold level. But we'll start with silver level because I don't want to go super easy either. So we can go ahead. So high animal totals. Oh, it'll actually tell us so. Low animal totals, high animal totals, watering rot holes run dry. Okay, well... In that case, let's actually play on hard because it sounds like it's gonna be the same with medium except for the watering holes running out. So let's go ahead, we will start, and it looks like our first one is just the zebra. So it says the young explorer, Dr. William Willoughby, and the famed anthropologist, Ms. Julia Carolou, have traveled to Africa by hot air balloon where they hope to learn about Africa's famous wildlife. Dr. Willoughby suggests, oh, and I can't read anymore. Okay, well, hopefully you guys got that. <laughs> so, good evening, fellow African explorer. Miss Carolou and I will guide your adventures on this wild continent. When these boxes have a continue button, you can click on them to move on. Okay, let's get started. Adventure Africa is your goal to create a fertile ecosystem featuring a particular animal. Today is your task to create a giant herd of zebras. You can see exactly how many and how many you need by rolling your mouse cursor over the picture of the zebra. If you've fulfilled this goal, you may move on to the next level. Creating animals is cheap and easy. Click one of the zebra cards below. Move your cursor near the water and click again to birth a newborn zebra into the world. There we go. It's gonna go get a drink of water, looks like. The graphics in this game are not phenomenal, but they're honestly not bad given the fact that this game is... How old is this? It's probably like a 15-year-old game or something like that. I don't actually know when it was released, but it's been around about as long as Zoo Tycoon 2, if any of you guys are familiar with that game. So, your zebra is just a newborn now, but if you have placed her near food and water, she will soon grow into a healthy adult. Do we place her near food? Yeah, there's a bush right there. Create another zebra near your first one after they grow to full size. You might see your zebras rear up in a mating dance and they will have a baby. So, let's go ahead. We can place it in. We'll place another one in. While we're waiting for your zebra to breathe, let me teach you how to navigate. Try moving the mouse to the edge of the screen. Okay, we can move around like that. Looks like we can also use the arrow keys or the uh, WASDA keys. We can also use this to scroll, so we can basically go down on the ground and roll around, or we can zoom way out. out. Okay, we can't zoom that far out. So you can explore the world, use the map to help you out so we can see where we're at. The blue area is the watering hole, and uh, there is where we'll be able to, um, <laughs> there's where we'll be able to breed our zebras and uh, get closer to a goal. So here are some flowers which you can trade in for more animals. Each zebra costs two flowers and don't worry, your flowers will regrow over time. So basically you just can't spam place animals. So we put another one in. Uh, we also have to build some shrubs. So let's see, this is your jewel objective. So when you create three flamingos, you will earn a jewel which you can trade for shrubs, okay. So now we have flamingos. So let's place them in. I remember flamingos are kind of hard to keep alive in this, so. Let's place them in. Okay, we got a jewel, and uh, the total number required to get jewels will increase with each jewel. Will, will increase with each jewel earned. Okay, so we trade flowers for animals and jewels for foliage. So let's trade this in for a shrub. Some are better than other others. If you move it to a high elevation or a long way away from the watering hole, it changes to a larger, more nourishing shrub. Okay, so oh, the, so the ones near water are less nourishing, I guess. That makes sense, kind of. I, I don't know, I feel like the ones near water would be more or so, but they want they, they want you to not just have everything clustered around the water hole, I think. They contain more nourishment uh, farther from the water, but they're near easier to reach near the water. Keep in one, mind that only one zebra can be eating from a particular shrub at once. A good rule of thumb is that every two zebras will require about one shrub. You, so they still need more food, so we need to earn another jewel. So let's place some more flamingos in. Uh, oh, there we go. That's the mating dance. So they just had a baby. So the hills are lush with edible shrubs, but they are too far from the water for zebras to get to. Find the dry watering hole marked by the dry cracked mud and palm trees. Hint, it's in the west, northwest corner of the environment. So I'm suspecting. Yep, it's this. Okay. 
So once you found the dry watering hole, click the rain icon and place the cloud over the pond. That's cool. I remember being able to do this. Nicely done. Be aware this watering hole was dry for a reason. Once the rain stops, the water will seep out of it very slowly. You may have to refill it periodically. So yeah, the watering holes will run dry if they're overused in this difficulty. So flamingos only need water to survive because they eat what's in the water. <laughs> and so we might want to increase this. You can fill a pond completely with three storms. So we'll, we'll wait for this one to finish. I'm going to place in some more zebras and maybe some more flamingos. I, I think maybe the trick to the flamingos is just to split up your population a bit more so that uh, they're not ever, they're not all in the same spot all at the same time. There we go. And uh, you can actually teach the herd about food beyond the range of vision. So if we click on one, terribly one that hopefully is not terribly uh, hungry or thirsty. So, whoa, okay. All right, here we go. So, oh, we can do this. Okay. And it'll tell you what it's aware of. So, okay. So we want to, to have this guy head right over to the watering hole. And so if we go over here, we can see where the rain is. If we have him run all the way out this way... Then we can see, oh, where did it go? It's right up here, I think. Then we'll have him eventually, be, yeah, now he now he knows there's food and water here. So you can see he, he's learned about all these food sources. So there we go. Uh, right click to deselect. So your zebra may return to the main herd, but when he gets hungry, he'll know where some fresh food is. Notice that a little arrow buzz a food source when the animal you've selected knows about that object. So that's how we can teach them about this. Uh, by dri driving your zebra near new food and water, it will learn where to find different food sources. The animal will remember that food or water source and will even pass on that knowledge to its offspring. So, that's pretty cool. You can select any species of animal drive around. Try teaching your flock of flamingos about the new watering hole. Don't worry mu too much about flamingos dying. They will repopulate their pond, or their pond quickly. Alright, let's fly over here. We can even create new zebras at the watering hole, it says. So the one is coming back. There's actually two coming back, it looks like. So some of the others maybe came over here. Or did we place one over here? I don't actually remember. This flamingo may die. <laughs> but if we go over here, uh-oh. Oh, please. Nope, it did. Okay. All right. Well, we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> we might place some flamingos over there, possibly. Flamingos die, like, ridiculously easily. So uh, that's one thing I remember about this game. The flamingos are very hard to keep alive. Let's continue to fill the watering hole. Maybe we can place, we'll, we'll place some shrubs out here farther away. So this is the, the lesser shrub. We're going to place another one up here so that as these guys migrate back and forth, they will, um, they will potentially remember that. Okay, so most animals live in family groups. When a family group reaches the maximum size, animals in that group will stop breeding. For example, zebra herds will not expand beyond 12 animals. Flamingos will not grow beyond 20. If you need more than that, you can start a new family group. All right, so that concludes the lesson. We just basically need to have multiple herds. Let's release that zebra. I didn't mean to take control. And uh, we can go ahead, place this here. I'm going to place a few flamingos in, or at least one flamingo in. And I think these guys, flamingos aren't that expensive. So let's go ahead and go here. We'll place a few of these guys in, and I'm going to put another zebra over here. So we're actually really close to getting that jewel. Okay, a flamingo just died of thirst. They can die from overpopulation drought or when their habitat is disturbed by other animals. Death is perfectly natural for, for, for flamingos and nothing to worry about. I think this game is pretty aware that the flamingos just die. <laughs> uh, they, seem, they seem to have a good understanding of that because, uh, yeah, the flamingos in this game just... They're constantly dying. All right, let's fill this again because it's getting a little bit low. You can see there's still some cracked mud there. And so we want to make sure we keep this nice and full. But uh, it's a really neat... Oh, goodness, there's dead zebras on the way here. I guess maybe they died on the way to get food or something like that. Um, there's a herd here. Are there any other watering holes that we can get? Uh, I don't think so. So that's this. Is, these rocks are kind of the edge of the area. So it doesn't look like there's too much else that we can get. I'm gonna maybe, well, let's place, let's place some more over here. I think we need to rely a lot on them breeding though. Uh, let's place some more flamingos in as well. We'll get more flowers soon. I think, yep, there we go, we got another one. And we got a jewel. So I'm gonna place another shrub on the path these guys are taking. So they should be able to then, if they're hungry on the way back and forth, they'll be able to eat. 
and uh, I think, okay, it looks like they're reproducing. We're actually really close, so 16 out of 18. We are very close to being finished with this. We can actually probably, yep, okay, so we, we finished that there. So we've unlocked the lion and we unlock sandbox mode. Let's go ahead and we'll try with lions first and then that'll probably conclude our first episode. So you'll definitely have to let me know if you want to see more of this. Uh, okay, so Dr. Willoughby, upon observing a pride of lions, argued that the lion might be the ideal animal. The lion is happily wed. His wife hunts while he stays in bed. He eats what she's killed, then, and I miss the... I'm gonna not read those anymore because... I'm not fast enough, so you can you can read those if you guys want to. I think with the problem with that is they originally, the loading screens would stick around for a lot longer because the computers are slower, but because I'm running this on a fast computer, it just zips through loading. So yeah, you guys can pause and read those. They're kind of clever poems if you want to see that. So, Miss Carolou, did you hear that? I think it was the distant lion roaring. Oh dear, lions must have caught the scent of the herd and prowled down to the river at night. How I'd love to see one. Predators like this one need plenty of fresh meat to survive. Make sure you have a sturdy population of zebras for your lions to snack on. Lions live in families of four and are very territorial, so you may have to create multiple prides to achieve your goal. By the way, if you want to check up on the status of all your animals, you can click the jewel objective. Oh yeah, okay, that's cool. So we can see how many we have. So we need to get 10 lions, so that's probably at least three prides. Let's start just by placing in some zebras, just like we did last time. So we got our first jewel objective. I'm gonna place a shrub. Can we put them a little farther back maybe? Maybe? Is it gonna let us? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna put that over there. I'm going to... No, go, go get water. Go get water, please don't die. Are they just gonna straight up die? They might. I, I think they might. Are, are they just... Yeah, I think they might. I'm a little worried. Nope, that one just died. That one just died. They're, they're a little bit not, not the greatest right now. Okay, we need, we need three flamingos. Let's place three in, and that'll get us a jewel, and then I'm gonna place in a shrub right here. Oh, there we go. They're gonna actually go to an eat. So we need, we definitely need to have one right by the water, even if we're hoping to eventually get them to eat from ones farther away. So let's place another one over here. That guy hasn't had enough water. It has this guy. Nope, they, they're not wanting to get, to get water for some reason. Is this, is it because the river doesn't provide enough water somehow or something? It might be. Maybe the river doesn't actually provide water. Oh, maybe that's what's going on here. Is there? So, we gotta place in... Okay, let's... I, I'm, I'm failing this fairly badly right here. Okay, can we restart? Restart level. Okay. Let's restart the level because I think I ended up failing that by accident because I think what's supposed to happen is I need to place some at a watering hole. I don't think they're recognizing the river as water, perhaps. I mean, it looks like it is, but I don't know, you guys. So maybe I'm gonna skip through this dialogue. Are they recognizing it? Okay, so yeah, we can do that. Are they recognizing it? Let's let's place some flamingos here. If we place them, are they oh they are okay, so it was just glitched out the previous time, I think. Because these guys seem to be fine now. They're not gonna place a lion just yet. These guys are all alive. I'm gonna place a shrub right here. We'll put in some zebras. There we go. Now they're actually getting water properly. So there is another watering hole, but for whatever reason, I guess maybe putting them on this side, they didn't like that too much. Um, maybe it's because it was so close to the world border, but in any case, they're doing much better over here. So we're going to get another jewel. Oh, we, we already got that, that jewel. So let's go ahead. We'll place in some more flamingos and we should get another. Yeah, we got a couple jewels right there. So let's place, we've got several zebras, so I'm going to place another, another bush there. And then we've got a watering hole over here, so I'm going to place a, a dry bush over there. Uh, let's place in maybe some more flamingos down here. We basically have this whole river open to us right now. So I'm going to try and start a new flock of flamingos. We basically, I want to have like two zebra herds probably for every lion pride that we end up with, so I definitely want to be cautious of that. We'll try and start maybe an another herd down here, and I'll put a bush over here so that they can eat, and then we will add some lions in. So we just need a little bit more, another another couple flamingos here, 
and then we should be able to uh, there we go we got another jewel and I think I'm gonna put another another bush here and then we should be able to place in a lion so I'm gonna put one right here and uh, he's probably gonna scare some of them off here but hopefully yep he's gonna hunt some of them down here we go oh oh he attacked that other one all right well he's got his food now we can place in some more flamingos and I'm gonna start filling up this water hole, I think. We'll also place another bush in the middle here. Oh my goodness, we're getting jewels like crazy now, thanks to, to having two different objectives. Okay, we've got two lions. They all they all appear as male, by the way. There's not like an alternate female model. Is that no, that's a rock. I was like, what is the lion doing all the way over here? But it's not. It's that was the that was a rock. Okay, so we've got our zebras. They seem to be doing pretty well. We've got some that are dying over here. So I think I might... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place in some more bushes because it looks like they've eaten up quite a lot of the ones that are here. And I'm going to put a lion over in this area as well. Because there is a lot of carcasses here that they could feed off of. Look at all the flamingos too. There's like an excessive number of flamingos almost. Alright, we got to get our zebra population back up. And that way we'll be able to get another jewel. So in a little bit here we should get one. The lion looks like he's chasing um, one of the one of the babies here. So unfortunately not just eating from the carcasses that are lying around spoiling. There we go. We got another jewel. I'm going to continue filling this water hole. And I think I'm going to place some zebras here. Oh, oh my goodness. That was kind of insane, you guys. All right. Let's place this in. And I will place this over here. Oh, it looks like that that lion... Oh, he got the zebra too. He actually got him. So let's place this here. Now, how, how are you doing? Let's have you follow this trail and uh, learn about all the food sources on the way to this watering hole because then we should be able... Okay, I'm going to release this guy. Now they should be aware of this route here if they need to use it. What about, what about the ones over here? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll have this guy also go over there and just become aware generally of what's going on. So we've got quite a few, well, we've got, we've got not quite a few lions, but we've got a few lions. <laughs> and so we're getting started on that. We're close to getting another jewel goal. How many lions do we have? They're all kind of just chilling over here. You might even be able to say that they're lying around. That was bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna put another lion over here and then I'm gonna place several more zebras. We have a few, but uh, I'm not positive it's gonna be enough. So I'm gonna place another one farther out here and then I'll make sure that uh, all these zebras, oh, the lion's gonna get one there too. All right, you, once you, once you have drank, then you will be a good candidate to teach about this new bush. So. Uh, let's go over here and you can learn about that bush. There we go. You can go back and get water now. I'm going to fill this up again. And uh, thus far we have five of ten lions. Oh my goodness, they're wreaking havoc here. So I'm going to start placing bushes over here. We'll begin to place some right in this area. And this will be a good uh, region to populate so that we can start introducing another lion pride. Again, we'll place some flamingos down here. And I'm going to place this one farther out, also on the way to that watering hole. We'll put another one over here and make sure we place in a few more zebras. Once these guys have enough food, then I'm going to have uh, them go over here. So we'll, we'll lead you in this direction. You can explore and learn about the other watering hole just in case you eventually need it. We want to make sure that everyone is aware of what uh, resources are at their disposal. So let's add some more flamingos here. We can literally add flamingos along the entirety of the region. Oh my goodness, we're, we're unlocking a lot of jewels here. So do we need to fill this further? We can fill that further. And uh, I think can is probably a good idea. If we can, then we probably should. So we'll place that there. I'm going to put some more by the river here. They do replenish over time, I'm pretty sure. But let's also put a lion out here, kind of in the middle. You you know where to get water, right? You figured that out? Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll release you so you can go get some water. 
And then we've got lions over here, right? I believe we had one or two, right? I don't see, where's the lion? We had one out in this area. I don't know if we do anymore. So there's one. Yeah, most of them seem to be down here. So I'm gonna actually place another one kind of in this area. In fact, we'll place two. And maybe we'll place another one kind of in this area as well because we had the one that came over here. Is he still around here? There's the line, yeah. So we can put you down here as well. And we're actually really close. We've got nine to 10, so we could pretty much just place in another lion to complete that goal. Uh, thus far, things have been going pretty well. So we're nearing the end of the episode. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up once, uh oh, we lost a lion, but once we have enough lions, I'm gonna go ahead, oh my word. That is a lot of jewels. Wow. Wow. Holy moly. Okay. So, but once we once we have enough lions, we're going to go ahead and end up the episode. So definitely let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Uh, I was super excited to see these games on Steam. I didn't know they were there. Uh, they're rather old games and the graphics maybe aren't the greatest. They were for their time, but... Uh, they, they're still, they're old but good games, so definitely let me know if you want to see me play more of this game, because I, I would be happy to, and also let me know if you want me to play Adventure Arctic as well, because I would love to do that as well. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode here for today, because it is about that time again. So we just unlocked Chapter 2, we unlocked a new sandbox, and uh, we're going to be jumping in with that next time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.